This help video is going to cover how to use Convertree's split testing feature. Split testing is a great way of understanding what works best for your pages by pitting different elements against one another and seeing how well they convert. Convertry has a built-in, um, very powerful split testing feature which automatically duplicates a page. You can make a change to one of those variants and then you can measure the conversion rate for each one and just essentially in one place see which one would be performing better. So to get this started, go to the um, funnel and page that you want to start a split test on. And on that page that you do want to start the split test on, click the three dot menu. The first option you'll have is start a split test and you'll be asked if you're okay with that. You are, so click OK. The split test has now been started and so we have all of our split test conversion rates here. We have total conversions for both pages, total visitors and the total percentage conversion rate. Then you have page cards for each of the two pages and their individual um, rates for conversions, visitors and the conversion rate. At the bottom you have the option for the traffic split. So you might want to drive more of your traffic of variant A than variant B. To do this, increase it so that variant A has more and variant B has less by pulling this toggle along the line. As this message says, you'll need to republish your pages once you've adjusted your traffic split in order for this to affect them. You can decide what counts as a conversion on your page by clicking the three dot menu on either of the page cards and selecting conversion details. You'll be shown all the links on your page and you can toggle off any that aren't going to count as conversions for you and then click save. To go in and edit one of your variants, um, hang over the page like you would a normal page card and click edit variant. Once you're open on your page, you can change what you would like in order to have it compared to the original page. So both pages look like this until I make my changes. I'm going to swap this image out and see if a different image of food performs better on my page. Once I'm happy that this is the other page I want to have, I'm going to publish these. As the warning message says, when you publish one page, both be published, so you have to be ready for both variants to be live. I am, so I'm going to click continue. Then you need a URL, and then you can click publish. Once this publishes, you can view it as you would any other public pe published page by clicking the view page blue button at the top. These two variants will then be live with the traffic split that you allocated them, and they will be able to start collecting conversion data which will show up in your dashboard. I'm going to go back to the split test as I'm now going to imagine that I had edited this page and I have decided that variant B is the winner of this split test. On the, sp on the page that um, did the most conversions and you want to keep as your live page, click the three dot menu stop the split test and a message will come up confirming that this is the page that you want to stay live. So page B will be automatically published in the place of your split test and variant A will be discarded. That's what I want is this one the split test so I'm going to click OK. The split test will be stopped and variant B will be published and I'll be taken back to the funnel that I was in before. My split test is finished and I'm happy with my results. So that's how you use a split test within Converge.